I'm Jenna with Stalls TV and welcome to the Craft Corner. We're in wedding season and apparel decorators are trying to think of unique ideas to offer to the bride-to-be's and groom-to-be's for the season. Most apparel decorators are thinking of t-shirts or any other type of apparel, but I want to show you something to step a little bit outside of the apparel box and offer an accessory. Today we're going to be heat printing a koozie and we're going to be using the Silhouette Cameo to cut our CAD Cut Glitter Flake. I have a blank koozie here from Wholesale Boutique and we'll be pressing it with our 9x12 craft press. I already have my glitter flake loaded into the cutter so I'm going to go ahead and send my design to cut. Now that my design's cut out, I'm going to weed away the excess material from the carrier sheet. Double check for any leftover pieces, and we can go ahead and head to the press. So to heat press our koozie, we're going to start by laying down our heat printing pillow. So we're going to be working with a lot of thick seams with the koozie and also this Velcro. So one good thing about this koozie is that you can get a nice flat surface by being able to detach the back side of it. And then we're just going to place our transfer down right in the center. And just to make sure I'm right in the middle, I'm going to fold this back so I know exactly where center is. And then since Glitter Flake has a tacky carrier that's gonna hold my transfer right in place for me, then I can just go ahead and lay this nice and flat and the pillow is going to create a nice even surface for our printing area because our Velcro is going to sink down into here and raise this area up. So I'm going to grab my craft paper and cover the transfer and also make sure that I'm covering this Velcro so that it doesn't uh, melt underneath the high heat. And then I'm just going to uh, heat apply this for its recommended time and temperature. I'm just going to adjust my pressure since we're working with a thick item there. And Glitter Flake applies at 320 degrees for 10 to 15 seconds. Glitter Flake's a hot peel, so I can go ahead and peel my carrier back. And then we have a completed personalized koozie. Personalizing koozies is quick and easy and also makes for a very fun and unique gift for the couple getting married or even as wedding favors for the guests attending. Now let's talk about how much it costs to produce if you're selling this at your home or craft business. The koozie from Wholesale Boutique cost us $3 and the glitter flake applied cost us 19 cents. Now the labor and overhead that I calculated was 69 cents, but that's going to vary based on your business and the costs for your particular home or craft business. So all of that together cost us $3.88 and my selling price is $7. So we're looking at a profit of $3.12. Now keep in mind, if you're selling this individually, $7 is a great amount, but if you're going to be doing it as wedding favors, you might wanna package a price together for a lower cost per koozie. I'm Jenna with Stalls TV and thanks for joining me in the Craft Corner. Are you looking for more ways to use or make money with your craft cutter? Then check out StallsTV.com where you'll find more how-to videos and tutorials just like the one you've watched.